the alarming issue that should be discussed. Yes, I do believe that there's racism. Uh, the movie was a mockery of Kazakh people mm -hmm. and I uh, felt like I was supposed to be offended from watching the movie. Hello guys! Today we're gonna discuss with Zezri uh, one of the alarming issues that should be discussed uh, in Kazakhstan. So let me just start from the first question. So uh, do you think there is racism in Kazakhstan? I think racism is an issue everywhere. No matter what country it is, uh, it's gonna be prevalent. And uh, Kazakhstan is no exception. Um, I think uh, Kazakhstan isn't a very culturally diverse place. Uh, immigration isn't really that popular here. Uh, most of the population is Kazakh mm -hmm. or um, either Russian. And so people aren't as exposed to other nationalities or races as, for example, in places like America or England. So uh, yes, I do believe that there's racism. Yeah, I also agree with you to some extent. Because I met uh, recently one American uh, who told me that uh, there is no racism and he would like to stay here uh, to hold Kazakhstan with his hands. You can watch on my YouTube channel. Um, there are many of foreign people who work here in Kazakhstan. Uh, I don't know, maybe they don't like to mention about racism or maybe their eyes are blind to the racism. But um, there are many issues that we don't, we cannot describe and maybe we don't know about it. Uh, yeah, I would like to add that um, the racism here isn't like uh, extreme, like mm. there's no, um, it's generally because there's not a lot of different races here. Uh, it's mostly that people are just ignorant about other different races yeah. and they might say something offensive or insensitive uh, without knowing that it might actually hurt people. Uh, it's not the same as, for example, in America where there's like uh, a clear divide between mm -hmm. races. Mm -hmm. It's because in Kazakhstan we don't have a lot of races, so people might uh, be ignorant sometimes. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you have any foreign friends who live in Kazakhstan? Uh, yes, since I go to a British school, mm -hmm. uh, I do have a lot of foreign friends mm -hmm. and classmates. What do you usually hear from them about Kazakhstan? Uh, pretty much all of them express that they uh, like their home a lot more than Kazakhstan, uh, but no one really had any complaints about it. Um, people generally like uh, Kazakhstan and they like the capital city of Nur Sultan because it's a new city and it's growing in front of their eyes. Uh, mm -hmm. That's what I've heard a lot of them say. They also expressed that they quite enjoyed uh, the unique Kazakh culture, mm -hmm. uh, which I'd have to agree with them. We do have a really good culture here. Uh, okay, have you ever been to Almaty city, your foreign friends? Because uh, I know many uh, people who live in North Sultan, maybe even foreigners, uh, don't even want to go to other cities. So what do you think about it? Uh, the majority of foreigners who come to Kazakhstan, they actually, uh, I've noticed they like to explore Kazakhstan a lot mm. more and many of them express that they like Almaty more mm. uh, than <laughs> Nur Sultan because of, because of the fact that it's older and larger and there's a lot more to do there. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of historical background and uh, the city itself has a lot to do with Kazakh culture more than Nur Sultan. Um, uh, by the way, uh, what can you offer for foreign uh, viewers what to do in Kazakhstan if they come here? Uh, well, if you come to Kazakhstan, I recommend you either visit the capital city, Nur Sultan, or the former capital, Almaty. I personally and many others like Almaty more. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, is, there's just more to do there. Uh, the number one thing I'd recommend you uh, to visit is during the winter when there's a lot of snow. Um, you can go to ski resorts in the mountain range of Almaty uh, because that is definitely something that you should try out when you come to Almaty. Uh, in the summer, um, I quite enjoy hiking in the mountains and uh, you should definitely, if, if, and if you're a big fan of architecture, uh, you should come to Nur Sultan because Nur Sultan is quite known for its amazing architecture. Um, for example, the Baytirek or Hanshatir or the Palace of Peace and Reconciliation. They're all very amazing works of uh, architecture. So, yeah. 
This is my second visit here in Nur Sultan and as I noticed a uh, government in Kazakhstan experiencing different kind of architectures like European and Asian some kind of what can you tell about it? Yes, I really think that Nur Sultan is a very interesting looking city. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of buildings that look uh, very European mm -hmm. and then there's a lot of very modern looking crazy buildings and it's honestly a very pretty city and um, I know that a lot of different uh, people like worked on these buildings there are mm. some British uh, architecture designers uh, obviously Abu Dhabi Plaza is funded mm. by uh, Abu Dhabi um, so it's like a mixture of different uh, architecture styles so it's very cool. Yeah, it means that our followers must have to visit here, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. I hope most of the people and even foreigners know about weather of North Sultan. There is very windy and uh, cloudy most of the time and uh, cold during the winter. So, did you used to live here? Uh, I'm still not used to the crazy weather. It always changes. In the summer, it's incredibly hot and then instantly the next moment it becomes super mm. cold you never know what to wear you never know what to expect because the weather um it's never it never stays the same it always changes rapidly yeah and the next question what do you think uh, if all foreigners learn it about kazakhstan after watching movie the borat i think most foreigners misunderstood mm -hmm. borat um the movie itself uh, it isn't really focusing on Kazakh people or Kazakh culture or really anything about Kazakhstan. Um, if the movie Borat wasn't about Kazakhstan and if it was about Azerbaijan or Uzbekistan, uh, it would have still been the same because nothing about the movie really says anything about Kazakh people. Mm -hmm. And um, instead, it showed that Americans didn't really know anything about Kazakh people, so they believed uh, mm -hmm. the actor when he said that he was Kazakh. Uh, so I think that m foreigners misunderstood the movie and thought that it was an actual representation of Kazakh people, mm -hmm. uh, when in reality um, the character doesn't represent them at all. Uh, as I've heard, uh, you told me the uh, ignorance of other people, not Kazakh people exactly, and about misunderstanding of Kazakh people. But what was your own reaction when you first watched this film? Uh, well, from what I was told, uh, the movie was a mockery of Kazakh people mm -hmm. and I uh, felt like I was supposed to be offended from watching the movie. So when I first watched the movie, I was prepared to become really angry and offended. But honestly, I was kind of disappointed in the mm -hmm. fact that I wasn't. Because when people tell me that this movie is a mockery of Kazakh culture, I would expect there to be something about my language, something about my culture, the food that I eat, um, mm. the Kazakh people. But when I watched the movie, there was nothing really about Kazakh culture at all. Mm -hmm. And instead, um, it was more focused on the reactions of the people in the movie because uh, there were mostly actually no actors. Most of the people in the movie were real human beings. And Sasha Baron, the actor who played Borat, walked around America acting crazy and defensive and like this <laughs> the, the most overly exaggerated terrible person ever and he just told everyone that he was from Kazakhstan and they all believed him mm. even though nothing about him was Kazakh and these are real people who believed him so when I watched the movie I was more offended by the real people instead of the actor who was portraying Borat and I honestly I was kind of um, uh, surprised that I found the movie funny mm. because I thought that I was going to be angry and offended about it but instead I I um, was more like like uh, humored by how so many of these people believed that he was actually Kazakh mm -hmm. and it showed me how ignorant other people are and when people watched the movie they also thought that the, char that the character Borat was actually a portrayal of Kazakh people when in reality he wasn't. He was just, um, like, how do I say this? Uh, he was just an example mm -hmm. for how this random person can walk into America and tell everyone he's Kazakh. And because people don't know anything about Kazakhstan, they just believe him. 
So I thought that that was uh, quite uh, humorous. Yeah, and I when I watched this movie, I noticed that when he or was speaking in Polish language, they believe that it's Kazakh language. I don't know why. Yes. Yeah, even though Polish language is the same as a Russian language, they should to know about Russian people because Russia is also a big country that need to be known by uh, all over the world. Yeah. And the last question. So would you like to recommend this film to your friends, to your foreign friends? Honestly, I would recommend it uh, because I think that if you truly understand mm -hmm. the film and you don't uh, look at it as a representation of Kazakh people because mm -hmm. it's really not, uh, then you can actually appreciate um, how like funny the film is. Well, in my opinion, I think it's funny because this actor, he's an amazing actor mm -hmm. because uh, he actually went to real people and mm -hmm. he managed to act like this crazy like offensive person and i know there are a lot of times where he went a bit too far with the jokes but mm -hmm. his acting is so believable that not a single person thought wait maybe this person isn't actually from <laughs> kazakhstan maybe it's just some random actor they all decided to just yeah that's a kazakh human being um and i think that it is just very surprising and uh it's funny watching all of these people like believe this guy so yeah yeah, and most of his fans are talking that he's very genius, this uh, actor Borat, that uh, he could, uh, you know, change himself. When I watched him like a man, a real man, not Borat in the film, I mean, um, he was so handsome and uh, he's tall and without beard and something else, and he speaks very nice, <laughs> without accent, yeah. Very nice. But on, in this movie, he really changed his, you know, character and became such ridiculous, ridiculous person. Yes, and it's even more impressive to know that most of the stuff was improvisation. Yeah. And he still managed to convince people <laughs> that he was Kazakh. <laughs> Which is very interesting. Yeah. Did you know that he won uh, Oscar in the last year? I mean, 2020. Yes, I I've heard of it, and I do think that he deserves it because he's he's like a very good actor, and every role he plays is very believable. And I think that <laughs> Borat is a a great example of that. Sasha Baron Cohen also acted like uh, the new version of Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is also known for all over the world and everyone knows him like the ridiculous actions and uh, behaviors. Thank you for watching our uh, interview with Zezri and I was really happy to know about your opinion about such kind of questions that we mentioned on our video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on both our uh, channels and uh, to click like and uh, comment down below and see you next time bye bye bye